Hi guys, in this video, I am going to discuss what choose function in Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. So, let's understand by query. So, I am using select statement here after choose function. So, if you write at your choose function, so see, so it's a built in function and it has uh, uh, at least two parameters. So, index must be essential and here expression. So, at here it's a return dot triple dot so that means you can enter n number of expression so let's uh, see at here so at here we have to give the index so index must be integer value integer value like 1 2 3 4 so at here i'm going to give the value 4 and here after let's give the expression so first at here hr Next, giving at your manager and here after giving uh, at your color and here after next is or uh, right to and here after let's get test now next is here after developer and here after let's skip add here and layers so as and here giving call so if you execute this query so add here the fourth position the fourth position is right to is there so add here or the index add here expression index is start from one so this is the one 2, 3, 4. So at the fourth position, writer is there. So the output display add here after executing this query, writer. So if you give the index add here, 2. So at the two position, manager is there. So the output display add here, manager. So this is the use of choose function. So you can uh, give the value add here, index value. After that, you can access the position value. So add here 2, so this is the index value and after you can access expression value. So uh, the index add here, the start from 1 and after that increase by 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, that continue. So suppose if add here or total numbers of elements or total numbers of expression of 6. So if you keep add here 9, so total numbers of or oh, add here expression only 6 but I have given the index 9 so that after executing this query the value come null so see add here the value come it's a null so if you give add here 5 so at the 5% tester is there so that oh, so that display tester so add here the output is display tester now here after let's use or choose function on tab or table so this is the record inside the tab table now here after i'm going to uh, use at your select a statement so in tab table one is id here after name and here after let's write at your choose function and here choose function so at your given id i'm selecting id because id has or the value 1, 2, 3, 4 and here after let's or use add here so when that found one value so at that point that display sum here after when that find 2 so that display add here 1 next or that display 2 here after next that display wait here after next that display thus here after next that display try here after next that display set and here after as so let's keep the alias name week now here after let's keep the or table name I'm using tab now if you execute this query so add your id so id has the value 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 
So when that font bond, so one position at a uh, sun is there. So the output display first sun. Here after one tears. So execute that. So see at a one position sun till one till at a third position Tuesday and fourth position Wednesday. So one point is why do we need choose function? So choose function is generally used to add your ID. So ID you can give add your index value and after directly you can access expression value. So add here this point the index add here the start from 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, like that continue on. So here after let's uh, check one example more. So add here I'm going to use a case statement. So add here ID selecting and here after name. So about the case statement I already discussed in my previous video. So please watch add here. So add a case, I'm going to apply case on ID. Now here after let's use when. So when the value is one, when one, then or oh, that display at your sun. And after when the value two, then or oh, that display one. When the value add your three or oh, then that display Tuesday. And here when so at a when or the value is four then or that display wait less day and here when the value is five then that display Thursday and when the value is six then that display Friday and when the value is seven then that that display Saturday. Now here after let's use add here end and here after let's give alias big and here from the give the table name so my table name is tab so if you execute this query the output will be same but so add here the same output add here i was using choose a function so choose function and add here i'm using case function so both output same and see the difference or between this two code so let's execute this two code so see add here so this is the uh, output of choose function and here this is the output of case statement so add here uh, i'm you know i'm getting the same output so why do we do it at here choose function so if you compare this so see at here if you compare this two query so by using choose function we need to use at here a small or uh, only two lines of query but if you are using case statement so at here I have to write the when statement seven times and we have to use then also and there are so many things so first second here after this is seven so there are a uh, lots of uh, lines by using case statement so if this kind of situation comes so better use choose function so choose function here after give the id and here you directly write some on Tuesday, Friday, Saturday and hereafter if the id value match so according to this the output display so this is the things so this is the uh, sql server or uh, teams made add here choose function to make code simpler so previously we are using case statement so case statement we need to write add here so many things but by using choose function only two lines of query 
So this is the things we want to uh, choose function and case statement in Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.